Welcome back. Senate Democrats are going to try this afternoon to end debate again on their financial regulatory overhaul. We've assembled a roundtable to talk us through the main hot button issues in the bill. I'm joined now by Scott Talbot, he's senior vice president of government affairs at the Financial Services Roundtable in Washington, and James Galbraith, professor of government at the University of Texas from Austin. Good morning to the, the both of you. We will see potentially debate end this afternoon with the cloture vote at, vote at two. Uh, Scott, tell me what changed between yesterday and today. Well, I think we had a number of votes on amendments, including Senator Whitehouse's last night, uh, and there's a number of votes expected uh, this, later this afternoon. And so a lot of senators will get a chance to have their issue heard, and which will clear the way for them to approve cloture. Plus, Senator Specter is in town. He's back from Pennsylvania. He was out yesterday and unable to vote. And so I think that we will see the, the cloture being invoked this afternoon by the Senate. Okay, so what changed in terms of content? Peter Cook, our reporter out of Washington, laid out Glass-Steagall and proprietary trading is two items in focus uh, do both end up in the final bill. I don't think Glass-Steagall will be ruled as germane, so I don't see that one uh, necessarily being included. Uh, as far as prop trading, we're working right now, the senators are working right now uh, with Senator Merkley, who has a proposal, who has an amendment that's pending, uh, to see if we can either get a vote or make changes to it uh, and see if we can get a vote and, and, and address Senator Merkley's issue, uh, clearing the way for him to uh, vote for cloture as well. Professor Galbraith, does Glass-Steagall need to be in there? Should it be? Well, Glass-Steagall should be part. The separation of investment and commercial banking function should be part of an effective regulatory reform, yes. Uh, the exercise of reinstating Glass-Steagall uh, faces some difficulties. It's closing a Pandora's box of putting a genie back in a bottle. Uh, but fundamentally, there is a big problem when you have investment banking activities that are essentially guaranteed by uh, deposit insurance. Talk to me, Professor, if you would, about what we need to see on the derivatives front. A lot of debate over what uh, regulation we are going to see, whether it's going to look like Blanche Lincoln's bill, whether it's going to look a little bit watered down. What are your thoughts? Well, the, the issue of credit default swaps is an extraordinarily important and difficult question because they have been shown to be a deeply destabilizing force in financial markets. I mean, long ago, Warren Buffett described them as financial weapons of mass destruction. Right. Uh, they are deeply impl implicated for the moment in the European crisis, and they provide a means for basically turning the bond markets, which historically have been relatively stable, uh, into highly speculative markets. How you go about uh, putting an end to that and going back to a world in which you uh, had the stability that you had earlier uh, is a very daunting question. You can certainly put re uh, restrictions in place that apply in particular jurisdictions, uh, but with global financial markets, I have the feeling that this problem is one that is very, very uh, difficult to get rid of. Uh, Scott, what does financial services want out of this? Yeah, a couple things. We want to modernize our regulatory framework. We don't want to return to the 1930s. What we want to do is recognize that the new financial system, the new financial markets are, are uh, more complicated, yes, but they also provide a lot of benefits to the American consumer. So the best approach is to move forward and strengthen the institutions to prevent them from failing again, uh, remove no, but any on the concept derivatives of too point, big to Are you fail. talking about spinning oh. off but when, when we're talking specifically no, no, about no. what's being proposed there? Yeah. What are you looking for? Sure. On derivatives, we're absolutely separating them as the wrong approach. Uh, it's better to increase capital and protect against the risk that these activities represent. Derivatives are a solid risk management technique, and when used properly, they help businesses deal with the risk that they face every day. So the answer isn't to d get rid of them entirely, just the opposite. Right, but, but not in defense. I'm not asking you to defend derivatives or, or respond yeah. to the financial you know, weapons of mass disruption uh, idea put out there by Buffett. I'm saying specifically what, what does regulation need to look like on this front? Because right. it's going to happen, yeah, it I sounds think like. It, it's very simple. One, we want to increase the capital requirements. If an entity wants to engage in derivative trading, either to protect its own risks or as a speculative nature, strengthen the capital and the margin requirements that protect against the risk that those activities represent. It's simple. I think what one can achieve with, a, with that kind of measure is to protect against the specific risks associated with isolated events. But when you have a kind of massive systemic uh, over 
uh, issuance of the credit default swaps such that the institutions issuing them really can't cover uh, the uh, a major meltdown in the in the credit markets. You've got a problem that the capital requirements issue simply isn't going to address. But is that level no, of nuance, is that level of nuance votes, being reflected protected. in the amendments that we're seeing actually being considered right now, Professor? Uh, sorry, the crosstalk, I didn't quite catch your question. Is the level of nuance you're laying out there reflected in the language of the amendments that are actually being considered right now? I don't think we've got an effective solution to that problem uh, so far, but I would like to see, the. Re I think the restrictions that are being proposed are a constructive step. All right. Gentlemen, we have to leave it there.